and welcome to our program, Where God Weeps, a program in which we talk about the situation of the suffering church around the world. Violent conflict in South Sudan erupted in December 2013, in which political infighting spiraled into a civil war between South Sudan's President Salva Kiir and his former Vice President Rik Mashar. Since then, thousands have been killed, millions displaced, and many more suffer hunger and disease. Notwithstanding the suffering, Bishop Rudolf Deng Mayak expresses and symbolizes hope. To tell us more, it is my great pleasure to welcome Bishop Rudolf Deng Mayak of the Wau Diocese in South Sudan. Welcome, Your Excellency, and thank you for being with us here today on our program. Yeah, it's good to see. It's good, it's good to, to not only to hear and to know, but to see yes. in flesh each other. Yes. That uh, we have survived. The Lord has, has been kind with us, has been generous with us to be able to, to arrive to this day. Yes. To deepen our relationship with Him, but also with one another, with our supporters, our brothers and sisters. All around the all world. All around the world, but especially the community that we call the Church in Need, uh, that now and then reconnects with us to encourage us to uh, to to uh, give us a word of cheer and of encouragement in order to move on, move on serving, serving God's people. And the this way, is the way, the way he wo God wants, exactly. not the way we want. The situation at the moment in South Sudan is, is difficult. Yes. And um, I, I want to just quote a couple of figures for you here. Yes. Reports coming from South Sudan as a consequence of the civil war that's going on. One million people displaced. Over 400,000 have fled to Kenya, Sudan, and Uganda as a result of this internal conflict. Can you tell us, just in two words, what is the origin of this problem that we are seeing today in South Sudan? Yeah, this, the origin is the is part is partly to do with political immaturity, inexperience on the part of the leadership, but also on the part of the general community is, is little awareness little awareness of the role of the civil society, uh, the, the, the role of the, uh, of the privileged believers, people who have come to accept Christ as their Lord and Savior and Master. Uh, there is little, they have very little influence on the public life, very little influence of what the, the, the political leadership of the country, of the young country, of these young, uh, very new young country needs. Uh, it, uh, it's a bit all of that, uh, but uh, to do too with the, with, the general, with the general situation of the human family in Africa around the world, the crisis. Now, to recap, South Sudan went through a brutal 20-year war with the North Sudan. Now, then there was, there was independence, there was peace, and then South Sudan the newest country in the world at that time slipped back into a civil war. Many would suggest it's ethnic based. Would you agree? Is it based, is it the root of the problem, ethnicity between the major tribes, between the Dinka, for example, and the Nur? Or how would you describe the root of the problem? The root of the problem is, is a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger than what we, uh, it's a lot bigger than putting it in terms of Nuer and Dinka. Uh, there, is, there, there is that element, but the bigger element of immaturity and of injustice and of, uh, of, of uh, uh, there, there is no short, I tell my people, there is no, there is no uh, shortcut to political uh, wisdom and maturity. Uh, you have to go. You have to go through it as we do it when we are born from our from the womb of our great mothers. Uh, we are born <laughs> very fragile, that needs needs attending to, 
uh, not only on the part of the mother, but on the part of the family, members of the, of the family, the, those who have become adults, the younger ones, they all tend to, to, they all tend to try to, 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 to enhance life in the new member that has come that has come to join them, the brother or the sister who has come to join them and they and try to give it, uh, foster, foster as much uh, community and connectedness with it, with the new member as, as, as we can. So you're saying in fact that these problems, uh, a teething problems if you will, of a new nation of South Sudan could have been, anti were anticipated, are anticipated as as a natural normal process of development it just seems a tragic way to get there yes i i think there is an element of that i, I agree with you mark yes there is there is that there is some uh, teething aspects of what is going on but there is also let us face it there is some responsibility that we as a civil society as leaders uh, of uh, political groups and 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 and, and uh, uh, we we make we make we make sometimes um, maybe in good faith, but sometimes we make uh, uh, wrong judgments. Uh, this is is, is is true not not only of, of, of the people of, of the world, but people of South Sudan. Uh, to get a, get a, get the right judgment, especially um, accountability, transparency, a hard work, sense of hard work, sense of nationhood that we are all brothers, the big and the small, the educated and the uneducated. Uh, the 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 Nuers and the non Nuers, the Dinka and the non that we belong to a bigger a bigger project a bigger plan uh, that God has uh, uh, which has come to us through the person of Jesus Christ. But this hasn't yet come sunk into the roots. Uh, I mean, mm, you you are a Dinka. Yes. You grew up with a Nur. Yes. You had no trouble with them as no, a child. Absolutely not. <laughs> not. Not. And yet suddenly, when you had a new nation. Yes. What wasn't a problem became a problem. Become a problem. Yeah. Is it exactly because when uh, being a new nation, being a new nation implies implies a lot of power, political power, economic power, but it implies also management. When we were in the family, we had no sense that at all that we were sitting on a huge, huge reservoirs of, of oil. When I was a child. And now, now at the age of 70, I realize that that that, that uh, there is there is a, a, a big a big resource that that we call oil. And that has that has come that has come into to, into play with us as a political leadership, as the political uh, managers of public life and public property. Uh, now that has got to be man, 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 managed well and and. Uh, and, and certainly, I have no doubt in my mind, as a member of the community that has grown up there, that it is deep down in the in the minds of the leaders in the opposition and government, it, it plays its role. Who is going to manage the the oil, the oil, the the proceeds from the oil? How are they going to be maintained? Something that is they will if if a Nuer is in charge, it will all go. It will a lot of that will go to the Nuer community. I, I don't believe it. And it's a lot more complex than that. The oil companies, the center of their role, and everybody else. So there is no denying that this is. Um, I, as a member of the Dinka community, with has grown up with the Nuer community, and the Dinkas and the Nuer, they are cousins. <clears throat> they, they are cousins the way the Yugoslavs are, and I don't know the people of Albania. The, in, in Europe, you, you have this, what you call the Latin group, you have the Teutonic group, you have the the Scandinavian group, you have the Mediterranean group. We have, we have also, we have also groups. So we draw that parallel for you as well. Yeah, yes, well, yes, yes. I've, I've grown up with them. Well, there's a lot of, of, of uh, uh, there's a lot of commonalities <laughs> between the Nuers and the Dinkas, and uh, so, oh, so it's not, it's not that, it's not that. Although that has, has had an influence, but it's much more on whatever we are talking about. Uh, these big prospects of wealth. Uh, that needs to be managed. So we're talking about the the original sin of man. No, man, yes. it's very and, much. 
and the process of education, education. to help the people understand they are larger. They are not Dinka, they are not Noor, they, they are more not, than they are, they are South Sudanese. Sudanese. They are more than that. They are more than, than, than being Dinka. It's a lot of more than being Noor. Uh, they are South Sudanese. They are but, brothers and sisters in Christ. But the South Sudanese are mostly Catholics. Yeah, most South so Sudanese are there's Muslim. also a problem here that Christians are fighting Christians. Yes, Christians are fighting Christians. And they are not. They are not ashamed. They are not ashamed. Why? Well, because it takes time. It takes time for for believers in Christ to assimilate Christ into themselves, into their being, into their way of, of looking at things, of judging. So many of us are Christians nominally. Does it not hurt your heart no, as, a, it, as a Christian leader that? You, your brothers and sisters are fighting, and not only that, but your brothers and sisters are suffering. Yes, yes, it does. It does cause pain. It does cause pain to us in the leadership. But with, but because we are we are part and parcel of this community that is at the, each other's throat, and we we know what 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 uh, what has engendered it. Yes, a lot of inexperience. There's a lot of of very narrow way of. Yeah, we are Christians. Is that in the in the, by the name? You could, this is called John. This is called Richard. This is called whoever, uh, Catherine, Regina. Uh, but at the, the, the just at the at the at the bottom of the skin, there is the all the old old way of looking at things, the myopic eye uh, uh, view of relationships, um, a lot of, we have not yet got rid of a lot of what we call clanism, tribalism, village way of looking at things. We think the be best people are the people in our village. The people in the other village are not are not really exactly like us. We are a little better than them. Now, is that is 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 that not happening? If there is something of it happening, but it's not happening enough to influence to prevent what has now taken place. Now we have to face it. That's what it is. So we are aware. We are aware that we are not living up to our vocation as peacemakers. Christ told his disciples, "Be peacemakers." Go and do as I have told you, and remember, no, 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 no disciple is greater than his master. And then, in season and out of season, tell them not to kill one another. Tell them not to not not to lie. Tell them not to covet covet treasures and and and, and the goods of this world, but to use it and to share it with the less privileged communities. Uh, so that so that everybody feels feels himself herself as a son and daughter of God. Take as God name. asked Cain, Cain, God asked Cain, "Where is your brother?" And Cain said, "I am I not. Am, am I my brother's keeper? I'm not my brother's keeper." The same story is, uh, uh, crops up again. Does it mean that the message of Christ is, is it cannot be fulfilled? No, it only means that it needs to be emphasized more and more. And then that it takes time to to takes now, time to come. In this case, the church is one of the last, if not the only, institution to preach this message because the government, where you have the president fighting the vice president, and both were duly elected, yes. properly elected yes, in a yes. democratic process. Yes, there is no confidence left in the government. Yes, so. The church is the last one standing. The last one standing, and we hope we hope we will persevere to be the like the the picker, the one calling the John the Baptist, calling from the wilderness, repent. Um, but you are, are you are you in the wilderness? Do people listen? That is very few, very few people listen. They are hearing, but they are not. It's one thing to hear, but it's another to listen. I think they are hearing what we are saying, but they are not listening. A few, it takes time. A few, a few will will be realize as time goes that it is futility, it is futile to kill one another, to destroy, to maim, to amass wealth, and to to weaken, weaken. We can, we, by killing your brother, you, you in, in, in directly without knowing, you are weakening yourself because you will need your brother one day when you are, when you are in difficulty. So we tell them, repent, uh, uh, to take, take courage, um, be humble enough and, and kneel in front of one another and ask the Lord to bless you, for, to forgive you, to repent for what you have done to one another in order, in order to be able to get up and say, my brother, I have done you bad. 
let us uh, forgive me and let us join. Let us join in building up a new, a new South, South Sudan. Which your Excellency, Your Excellency, but when you see such suffering, children abducted, young men conscripted, women kidnapped, and all the horrible things that war brings with it, how do you not, how do you keep your faith? How do you keep your strength? How do you keep your hope when you see all of what could have been, which is not? The Lord himself told us, yes, uh, when he was going to the way of the cross and when at the end everybody had gone uh, and he asked his disciples, are you also still with me? Are you, are you committed to be, to walk with me? Uh, of course, of course they were, they were, they were frightened, they were completely uh, down spirited, they couldn't imagine this is, this is the conclusion the life of the Lord was going to. Uh, but he told them, uh, don't, don't, don't fear, this is the plan that my father has for you. Uh, you, will see, you will see wonderful things. And, and on Easter Sunday he appeared and when Peter went to the tomb and so, and knelt and so, he ran. He said, the Lord has risen. He has appeared, he has appeared to me. He is truly alive. It's true, it's true. Let, let us, let us, it's become clear now what he was talking to us. He was bigger than what, he was bigger than what we were seeing. He was really God in our f poor, fragile human condition. It pains, it hurts, it, it, it uh, but I mean, like people who are, like, like people who are called to be messengers of God's, of God's uh, love and mercy and forgiveness and unity, uh, we have no choice but to tell people that what you are doing is, is completely is, is, is a self-destruction and it won't give you any, any other advantage at all. It only, gives, it only draws you back um, instead if you all sit down and you realize that you have sinned against God and against one another and you ask forgiveness of each other, God will give you, will give you strength to move on. So you are hopeful in the resurrection? Oh yes, that is true. That is, is you know uh, how it comes about. Is and you are hopeful thing. in the resurrection for South Sudan. Yes, in sense, I am. You are hopeful that there will be peace. Yes, I am. I am hopeful that there will be peace uh, because South Sudan, South Sudan, of course, is a lot bigger than Salva Kiir. South Sudan is a lot bigger than Dr. Yagmachar. They are important uh, brothers who have fought and they have. Uh, they have spent a lot of themselves, of their time and energy, in order to bring us where we are. Now we are, we have reached the rock bottom. I don't think we can go, go any lower than this. We can only, we can only rise and say, sorry, we have, we have, we have done harm to ourselves. Let us, let us begin again. Let's talk a little bit about the international response. The UN Security Council has proposed imp imposing sanctions on both and in fact those participants who prolong this war. Yes. Uh, what is your response to, what is your feeling about the UN proposal to impose sanctions? No, yeah, I don't think it will make any difference on the ground. Uh, I suppose the UN has its own mode of operation. They have to do this, they have to meet together and pronounce themselves and make a resolution. No, but he's, uh, well, if they, will, you know, if, they want, if they want to contribute, they have to get, uh, get to the ground, make the two, the two uh, principals who are there with those who are uh, collaborating with them come together and, and talk. Uh, but that's, that, that's, and, uh, that's the way they, they, the African society is made and talk until they are not able to talk anymore, reach some conclusion. Uh, so, so I think the UN uh, is part of it. Says, it's a ritual, I, think, I suppose it's a part of a ritual when there is a house burning somewhere in the world, they sit down and, and talk and talk and then make a resolution and then have a year held and they hold a press conference. I think that is 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 good for them to do. And, uh, but the real thing is to, to get the two the two brothers uh, who are uh, dogged heads with each other and their supporters to, to, to know that um, it, uh, killing one another is no solution because at all. Because sanctions in the end will only hurt the poor people. Will only hurt, hurt the poor people. Uh, to, for, to continue, I mean, the, 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 the two principals and those helping them, they sit down and they, and, and they face the fact that they have the country for which both of them fought and, 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 uh, and, 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 and spent and has already costed so much in terms of lives, in terms of no development, uh, uh, and now, now, 
Now they should they should realize and say, realize and and say enough is enough. Let's 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 come down and and do something to save save the savable. Your diocese is called the mother of all dioceses in South, in South, South, South Sudan. Sudan. Yes. Why is it called the mother of all dioceses? It's the mother of all dioceses because the diocese of Wau is is the place where the first missionaries way back in in in, in February 1904, the 15th of February 1904, the missionaries came with the gospel in hand and said we want to come and help. At the height of the slave trade, they said we want to come and bring the saving light of Christ of this carpenter from Nazareth, who was like, like another carpenter, but he was more than another carpenter. He was the son of God, the son of the living God. And uh, then and, 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 uh, uh, from there, from that day on the 15th of February, 1904, the faith has gone to all the other parts of South and South Sudan and Northern Uganda. We are very much connected as a church to communities, the Catholic communities of northern Uganda, the Dais of Arua, the Ag Dais of Gulu, the Dais of Lira, the Dais of Moroto. We are uh, not only by blood, but by the blood of the risen Lord, we are connected. 75% uh. of your population is Catholic. Yes. What is the situation of vocations, the religious life? A religious life, there are a lot of vocations are, 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 are available. The people people come to join, join, they join they to, to be studied for understudy for the priesthood for religious life as i said it in uh, in other occasions in, in other fora uh, there's a lot of vocations coming into into uh, calling calling for formation but of course they don't persevere and they don't persevere because the situation because of situation of brokenness of war of misery of suffering of poverty so they start their formation but they, they don't they complete. don't persevere they don't reach they reach they don't reach the priesthood or if they reach the priesthood they persevere for 5 10 15 years and then and then and then is this a problem of formation or is it a problem of the environment i think i think it is a formation of all that, all of that yes there's something lacking in formation there is something lacking and uh, there is something which is which is uh, uh, not uh, not uh, not uh, conducive in the environment yes a lot of people are are seeing of course huge fam huge huge salaries in government and parastatals and there is a huge uh, there is, uh, there is uh, grinding poverty in the family of many of our church people and the, the temptation is there uh, to, to go and rescue and re bring relief to members of one's family. Uh, there are personal, personal problems, but, but that is that, yeah, that certain the poverty and, the, and the, 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 what you may call the oil boom and whatever, certainly they are playing a role in this, uh, but the Lord said he is, he's, his, uh, his workers will have to depend on him, uh, not on w the oil boom or whatever. Uh, the oil boom will serve its own purpose, but those who come to him, they will say, yes, they, those who want to follow me, let them take up their cross and follow me. And then on the day, the day, the day I will come uh, to, to judge the world, I will give them their, their reward. So the many are called, but few are chosen. That's it. The Lord himself said it. Yeah, many will come and say, I love Jesus, I love Mary, I love the church. And then little by little, not because they are bad, but that is not, because that is not their, their, their call. That is not their way. Yes. And they go back, they go back. And perhaps the fruits, I suppose, would be that government and leadership will eventually be filled with faith-filled people. Yeah, God, God, God has his own ways of, 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 of building his own people, yes. In a way, they will contribute to the leadership of tomorrow. And if they are, if they are, they are good leaders, they will, they will contribute to this need, uh, need of peacemakers, people who lead by good example, who are not corrupt, who are not tribalists, who are self Self, uh, self uh, giving, and uh, uh, in 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 serving the communities, everything. So be it. Uh, God has His own ways. Has His own way. It is He who calls, not everybody. There are people who would like to see priests, uh, <laughs> but there are not the people Christ wants to see as priests. The Christ would like them to see. He would like them to to do as carpenters, as teachers, as politicians. Uh, in as order, as good to Christian do, faithful. A good Christian faithful as family people, good, good exemplary family people. And uh, these people are always, uh, his, his, his real intimate uh, 
intimate collaborators and cooperators. Uh, they were, it, he, took, uh, it, he gave us an example. He went and chose uneducated people. There were 12. One uh, betrayed him, and there remained 11 uneducated fishermen. He filled them with his power and sent them out, because it is he who heals and saves. It is not anybody else. And we are only instruments of, of, the, of the Word of God. We is, we is personified in Jesus. As instruments, if we understand ourselves well in this role, what can we do? As instruments, we, 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 can, we can always, well, we belong to one mystical body of Christ. We can support one another in a spiritual way, with prayers. Uh, but we can also, we can also, with what is being written about our situation, I've seen here in the church here, yeah, church in need, they write a lot about our situation. That is already contributing to solving, uh, to helping us understand our problems, understanding uh, one another. We can also, we can also help by going, we have volunteers who have come to join us in order to bring, in a physical way, to bring to the, the good news of salvation, honesty, integrity, reconciliation, justice and peace, uh, hard work. Uh, that, that is, that is a, a, a few, few, few volunteers who have come in the name of Christ in order to announce His love and His mercy and reconciliation to all of humanity, beginning with ourselves, beginning with ourselves. There's also a way that I've seen, I've seen with the, deep, with the deepening crisis that is affecting the communities here in Western Europe, in Germany, in Italy. I've been to Italy. And we can also help through by, by supporting agencies who are who are promoting, promoting this, this uh, general well-being, like Church in Need, like Misho, Aachen, like Misho, mm. uh, M M Munich, uh, uh, Miserior. They are, all, they are all agencies, agencies of collaboration, of cooperation, of solidarity, and of deep sympathy, active sympathy, not just with words, but with actions. In many ways, yes. Your Excellency, you're 71. I'm 71. Are you going to see peace in your time? I, I never thought I would see South Sudan. I never thought. I've been through it all since way back 1955 until, until 19, 19, 2005 when the CPL was, was signed. I never thought I would see South I thought that people would one day, would one day realize their dream of a free South Sudan. I've seen it in my lifetime. So, so I'm, not, I'm not very, very, very sure uh, to rule out that I will see, I will, I will not see. I, I thought I would never see South Sudan. So we will see peace. We will, see, we will see peace. Your Excellency, thank you for being with us here today. Thank you. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for having been with us today in our program, Where God Weeps. And if you'd like to know how you can help His Excellency, the people of South Sudan, I would encourage you to look at the contact information at the end of this program. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.